Good day and welcome to our short video explaining how to see all of the printers listed in Active Directory. And we'll go over a few more things like print management, some other things, but uh, very, very quick. So let's just show you how to get where we're going here. You may look at your printers and see that you have a number of printers around and that they are shared. Uh, like this one is. So you can see I've got two printers here. And you might wonder, well, you know, I know that they're listed in Active Directory somewhere. In particular, you can see here, there's a checkbox that says List in Directory. So but when I go to Active Directory, I don't see it. So where is that? And here is where the printers would be. And when I show you this, they're not going to be there because you have to make one change. So let's go to, in my case, yes, I installed it on a domain control, which is generally a terrible idea. Well, it's not the best idea. Okay, so you can see here, well, there's the printer and the DC1. And I don't, uh, sorry, there's the domain controller, but I don't see where the printers are. That's because you have to click action, or sorry, view, and uh, select users, contacts, groups, and computers as containers. That's the key. Click on that, it'll show you what's in them. So now I can expand again my domain controller and look, now I see one printer. But gee, I thought you said there were two printers. There's one, this finance printer and this HR printer. But I only see one here, why is that? Well, that's because printers do not have to be listed in Active Directory, let's just show you that. So let's go to the other printer here, this Samsung. We'll go to Open Queue, Printer, and we'll go to Properties, and we'll go to Sharing, and you'll notice List in Directory is not there. Now if I turn that on and click OK, and I go back here into Active Directory and I refresh, Bingo, there it is. Now I have noticed sometimes, by the way, that just refreshing isn't enough. You have to go off of it and then back on it and then force a refresh. So just take note of that. One last thing I want to explain is uh, if you go to print management, and if, for those of you who are not familiar with print management, it's a lovely little tool that Microsoft brought out. Oh God, must've been server 2008 timeframe, something like that, that lets you manage uh, your printers. You can export them, you can migrate them. It's really quite a handy little tool. You can see the, the print, Queues. See, I can export these printers to a file and I, I, I can import these printers from a file. It's really quite nice. But a lot of people won't have this print management tool. So they'll click, click start and type print and they'll type in it and it's just not going to be there. It just won't show up. So where is it? Well, it's not very hard. You just have to go to remove and what we're looking for is Windows features. And all this is going to do is launch server manager. You have to wait for it to finish its setup. There it is. And uh, if this didn't pop up for you, it's easy enough. You simply go to manage and add roles and features. And it's a role-based feature, so we click next. And yes, it's on this server. Thank you, Microsoft. And what you're looking for is this guy right here, print and document services. And you just click next, next, next through that. And then print management shows up. And then in print management, like we showed you very briefly here, you can see all of the printers that are on this server and they can be exported, they can be imported, and you can see how many jobs are in their queue. It's just a really handy little tool to use. All right, if you found this useful, please click like. It's uh, really appreciated. It's very helpful with the Google algor algorithms. Subscribing is also appreciated. Commenting, please leave us a comment. If we don't get back to you, somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech. That's www.urtech.ca. Urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.